I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you're all losing your home. And oh, don't think you are getting out of this one because your mortgage is paid off. No. We're dealing with a force more ruthless than banks or lending institutions. The threat is climate change. Although Mr. Trump may not agree with me, climate change caused by increasing concentrations of greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide and methane has been responsible for intense weather events around the globe, including that extremely cold winter we just had. The cost of climate change in Canada alone is rising from $5 billion annually to $21 billion. Now that you all know the culprit, let me present to you my solution. My research is lobbying for the preservation of one of nature's superheroes, peatlands. You might know them as peat bogs or that gross swamp you thrust through during summer camps. Peatlands have low oxygen, causing slow decay of dead plants and animals, which is a good thing because it leads to carbon being stored for thousands of years. Undisturbed peatlands, as shown here, can store five to 20 times more carbon than forests, making them the best carbon sinks. Unfortunately, human disturbances, such as the creation of roads and pipelines, could change them into carbon sources. Currently, there are over 350,000 kilometers of roads in Alberta for oil sand extraction. In perspective, that's as much as going around the world nine times. Unfortunately, the impact of these roads on peatland function is understudied, leading to uncertainty in their carbon storage function. My research is measuring carbon accumulation rates and monitoring changes in disturbed areas to provide policymakers with accurate numbers to justify limited or no extraction in these high-risk areas. Current results from my lab indicate an increase in the production of methane gas which is 28 times more effective than carbon dioxide in trapping heat. The onset of these changes could transform our peatlands into supervillains, accelerating the degradation of our home planet. At this point, how many of you think we should continue to invade peatlands for oil sands? Remember, ignorance about climate change doesn't take away the effect. The clock is ticking, and we have only one home. Oh, back to President Trump. I hope my research will compel him and other climate change skeptics to join us to save our home. For Pete's sake, let the peatlands be. Thank you. <laughs>